never forget that day. You're not Norman. Hero of the Hudson. No, you are not. The Guardian Cessna 365 now at 1500. We are heading for the Hudson. Negative. Disregard that last transmission. Okay, you need to return to the Guardia. Negative. That was transmitted in error. Take your hand off the mic, Norman. We are going down. No, we are not. We can get a view. You want to try to land runway 13? Negative. Everything's fine here. We're continuing as planned. That's it, Norman. I'm plugging out your intercom circuit breaker. Mertz. What the deuce? Oh, shit, bro. Oh, fuck her. Wilson, where are you? Wilson! I'm coming! Shut up, Norman! Shit. Stop the stopwatch. Uh, up we go. Oh! When you. Oh, he's having a baby. He's, he's, he's lost. Just, he's rocking back and forth. Look. So I have to start the whole shot again now, the whole thing all over again, and I said it right. 07020 knots. So that's like facing right into the window. New York helicopter terminal and I can't remember the name of the fucking place so now I have to go look it up hmm here we are in Manhattan heliport and we're gonna take off with this micro light we're gonna climb to the top of the building three times come back and then start stop the stopwatch so where's my stopwatch bollocks I've hit the I've hit the right prop on the runway just go down just touch it there we go Oh, what? Am I alive? Oh, Jesus Christ! Where's the runway? There it is. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're gone. We're gone. That's what happens when you go below blue line speed in an engine failure. What is it? Hitch dead. There you go. Top's coming up, hold it level, is it going to stall, otherwise... Oh no! Don't do this to me! It's too late! It's too late! Just don't stall and go into the water! Oh my god! That is... Fuck! Adding power. And up we go. Oh, I missed it! Shit! I fucking crashed. This looks really bad. Brace for impact. Ooh. Long. Ending. One I've got to try and stop this before the end. No. Try not. Do or do not. Oh, thank God. Yoda, you are so wise. Nothing more will I teach you today. <laughs> At last, I'm going to steal an airplane. Yeah. How are you? You okay? Yeah. Can I have a look around? You can. Can I help you? Are these keys for assessors? There we go, nice simple start. In real life, when you're flying, you've got your life in your hands. So it's very, very important, obviously, to have the appropriate licensing, the appropriate training, including safety training, etc, etc. Whereas, when you're at home, in your flight simulator, there's no risk at all. Okay, she wouldn't even shake my hand at this point. It was going very, very badly and I had probably made a fool of myself. But then it dawned on me, the four magic words, I have a jet. How long will we fly with this ship? We'll go around a little bit. Oh no, but when we will change the plane? You know, for the private jet, what you told me, champagne. Oh yeah, uh, I lied. Hello everybody, and uh, today is a very, very special video. Uh, we're going to announce the winners of the shout out competition. This next channel is called Reaction Review, and I've got to say, uh, for an X-Plane channel, uh, this guy is putting in a lot of work. All right, I'm going to hit subscribe on his channel, and you should as well. <laughs> up again I'm way too high and I've got to do the whole shot all over again which is fucking fantastic recording sound no where's rain where is king rain gone Fucker! this doesn't stop now I'll have to do this take all over again and I won't be happy I'll not be happy please stop please don't make me do this all over again it's late at night Please stop. We're driving it in a bit. Hold on, hold it up. Oh, right. That one up. And now I have to do the whole shot all over again. 
Brilliant. Fantastic. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Floaty, floaty landing. That was not a floaty, floaty landing. And I'm way off the runway and I have to do the whole shot all over again. Brilliant. Just fantastic. That's just brilliant, that is. Okay, I can't seem to fly this at all. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I bust the gene in it. Um, okay, I don't feel very comfortable looking at this at all. I think we need something that can handle the force, the G-forces that are applied. I sense much fear in you. Oh, God, he's back. I shouldn't have said force. How embarrassing. You know, the aircraft kept coming apart because it couldn't take the G-force. <laughs> You'll be laughing when I get this down without the force, Yoda. You are reckless. Maybe, but look what I'm going to fly. <laughs> Well, I'm too heavy. I need to drop those fuel tanks. Or two. See what you can do back there. <laughs> okay, it looks like I can, I can just about keep it. Oh, oh. Use the force. oh God, Obi-Wan is here as well. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, bloody hell. Target. Of course now I'm doing floaty floaty. This is just not gonna do. Okay, you're gonna have to take the flaps up and drop the lift. Go! Oh. Okay, 140 knots. Hopefully I'll stop by the end of the runway, but I'm not too sure. Now, that seems to have done it. So Yoda, what do you think? See through you, we can. That may be so, but the F-A-18 has a much higher G-Force tolerance. How can this be? It's G-Force, Yoda. Mm. Uh, it's nothing to do with your forces. Dangerous and disturbing this Look, let, Let's be quick about this. There's the dark side of the force, your side of the force, and G-Force. No. no. We may also have a G-Force, but nobody can find it. <laughs> Time for murder, death, kill. Bombs will actually drop. I've highlighted it for you. Oh, it's Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. How dare he interrupt my tutorial? Bombs away. This is the Pipe Belong, the front and back of Formation to sprechen. Im Süden hat der Gegner Zossen genommen und stößt auf Stahlsdorf vor. Mit dem Angriff stein das. Und das alles in Ordnung kommt. Mein Führer. Steiner. Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiner war ein Befehl! Niederträchtige Treuer, der Feind! Feiglinge! Verreißer, Versager! Sie ist ohne Ehre! Sie wird das Saufen in ihrem eigenen Blut! Yes, I don't like trains particularly. I don't like them, I just don't like trains. Must be something to do with this freak. <gasps> oh, this is brilliant. Don't... Oh no! I didn't get to train itself. Cheeky bastard. If it's the last thing I do... Oh, brilliant, now my engine's dead. Okay, I'm gonna do a kamikaze. I'm gonna shoot the bejesus out of him, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna take the two of us out at the same time. You're going down, you bastard! Yes, I'm gonna get you now! This is just humiliating. There we go, chop it all the power. Off it all the power. Bollocks. Okay, it looks like we're gonna make it. Power off, it's gonna bounce really hard. Ooh, instead of a bounce. 
Bit of a bounce. Now, it's not over yet. I've got to steer the aircraft and then reverse thrust. I'm using asymmetrical thrust again just to steer it. Don't go off the runway. I can't use reverses until I have it straight. Right, reverse. Oh, 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 fire! That's what, that's, that's what that looks like. Brilliant, fantastic. Oh yeah, now I've had a power and it's crashed. Brilliant. That's you, whole thing, all over again. Fantastic, reverse thrust on. Fuck. Yeah, brilliant. And that's what happens. That's, that's, that's what happens. Oh, I don't believe it. Why won't this work? Oh, it's gonna be a hard one. Now I have to do it all over again. It's got all the cameras. And yeah, this is, this is just fabulous. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, let it roll out. No, oh, Yoda, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so busy looking outside and ignore the instruments. Still looking to the horizon. Never hear that. I know, Yoda. All my attention was diverted to making a video. Needed my words, not did you? I used reverse thrust with the props out of sync. I failed. The greatest teacher failure is. Oh, you're just peddling easy answers. Pass on what you have learned. I've done it. Success. Hooray! A bit of a bouncy bouncy there, but everything's fine. I've organized, it's all good. Okay, breaky, breaky, break. Oh, not too much breaking, not too much breaking. <laughs> I have it all under control. Nothing bad's going to happen. Everything's fine. Bucker. This brings new meaning to ski slopes. Let's go. sure everyone's dead anyway. The aircraft's heavier on the ground. So... Okay. Uh, okay, um, let's... Let's just get it started up really, uh, really quickly, shall we? Let's just move on. By some miraculous miracle, I seem to have survived my egotistical madness. My legs badly damaged as I neglected to read and understand section 5 of the Cessna Operating Handbook, page 5 dash wood lake performance. Perhaps I could crawl. Huh? Oh, God. you again, please. Oh, no. Is that you, gentlemen? Oh, thank God, gentlemen. Greetings all, uh, greetings and salutations. I hope, I hope, I hope you're all having a good week. Yes, indeed, we're back for more Crazy Madness and this time we're in Papua New Guinea for some, some really, really dangerous short field landings. Yes, they're gonna be dangerous. They're always dangerous. Uh, nothing will go wrong, everything will be fine. Producer Buttons is having a nap and all is well. I hope you're all had a good week and are going to have a good week next week. And many good weeks follow. We're in the X-Cub. The X-Cub of greatness, folks. Uh, we're in somewhere in Papua New Guinea. <laughs> Colonel Clink's flight plan. Thank you very much, Colonel Clink. So we're all here, look. Everybody's getting ready. Uh, I know there's nowhere to park. And there's some interesting aircraft being flown. Uh, greetings to you, uh, by the way. Thank you, Tritz, for saying hello. Lonely Reaper, uh, Nighthawk, DCS Ducks, and Colonel Clink was saying hello as well. And on YouTube, I haven't forgotten about YouTube. Uh, All Star Murray, greetings Ian Pollard, uh, Chris, Chris Offer, Windage and Shuffle Shoes are saying hello and in car as well. So greetings all, greetings all. 
Um, now, look, there's quite a few of us here at the moment showing up. Let's have a look at the tags there. Let's tag up. There we go. There we go. There'll be more to come. I have no doubt. Depending. It's raining now. So, you know, winter's coming fast. Thick and fast. There's another one popping in there now. That's not sure. Uh, winter's coming, folks. Yeah, we, you know, we know. We know. And, you know, there's white walkers. You know, white walkers are, are messing us all up. Uh, you know, when I say white walkers, I'm saying, you know, the, the nasties with all your, you know, bills and stuff. But that's not p political. We're playing Flight Sim this week and we're going to forget about everything. That's exactly what's going to happen. All right. So, <laughs> ooh, someone's find the Twin Otter. Is that the Twin Otter? That is the uh, Islander, no? Or is it, that's the Otter. There we look at that. How, how cool is that? So, there's going to be some crazy madness. Now, uh... Colonel Clink has some stuff to say and whatnot. So I've started my engines in the X Cup already. Uh, and we're going to have a bit of fun with that. So let's have a look and see. Not too complicated an airplane. Nice and simple. For a change, we haven't done this for ages. You know, this crazy madness. So I have to remember, you know, with these tail draggers, I have to remember to keep the tail back, you know, when I'm landing because I'll nose over. Yeah, when you see that, you'll see all that. So the engines are all started. I haven't flown the X Cup for ages, uh, and it's it's good fun, you know. It's going to be a bit of crack. Uh, it's going to be a bit of fun. I have to make sure I know my GPS here. Do you know? I have to see. So forget all this. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want that, and I want to zoom in and out. Oh, I can't do it that way. Great. Oh, I remember. It. Great. Let's have a look at the comments. Just quick look at what you're saying. Uh, I know we just started. Uh, can the Xbox Simmer fly along? Yes, Christoph, uh, Christ offer Christopher, the two us. Okay, I didn't know that. Christopher, yes, you can. You can fly along with Xbox with us. Uh, North European server always, and you'll see us, Christoph. Uh, fly along by all means, um, uh, and and it should be no problem. We've just connect. Same thing. The Xbox is part of the flight simulator as well. Oh, that's Colonel Clink, folks. That is Colonel Clink. Let me answer that. Greetings, uh, Colonel Clink. Greetings and salutations, everybody. How is everybody? Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> Stop it. That's too much. Colonel Clink's getting very popular. I didn't get a clap when I started at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has to be done. Uh, how are you, Colonel Click? Uh, how are you getting on? Not too bad. It's like a uh, uh, busy week, crazy madness over the weekend, uh, more crazy madness now. So uh, it's all good. How Brilliant. Is, how is how is the producer buttons after a crazy day of flying yesterday? Yes, producer buttons came to the airfield yesterday in the real world, folks. And yes, she had a great time. Very busy day. Yeah. She's napping now. She had another adventure today. She met lots of other doggies. Other, they had a, uh, um, uh, what do you call a form for all the producer dogs? What am I saying? Yeah, she just met other dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, she's been very busy today, and she's having a nap now. Usually at this time, as you know, folks, she'll jump up and start annoying me for a thing. So no, she's not this time because uh, she's absolutely erect. Uh, so yes, so yeah. we're, we're what's the story, Colonel Clink? What are we? What are we? What are we up to? Oh, it's like um, we're going back to uh, an old haunting place, and um, it's like I'm not quite sure if there's Papua New Guinea uh, or whatever. It's it's somewhere somewhere in the southeast. Loads of mountains, loads of little airfields, and uh, uh, a wee bit of madness. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, um, depending how we go on we might have like an extra airfield like you know which is not in the flight plan mm, and like good. yeah like you know a, but we'll see we'll see a bonus airfield yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see how how many of us survive and uh, uh we take it from there like Great. you know nothing bad is gonna happen it's nothing like, bad yeah and i haven't yeah i think we'll be fine yeah it's like it's it's it's, it's good it's good it's all good Excellent. So we've got quite a few with us here. Loads of you bunched up together. So I'll call your names out when, when we get in the cruise. Okay. So we've got Ian Car Shady Sim, Lieutenant Barn, Lonely Reaper of Windage, Nighthawk, Cerebral Pair, CJM, Ian Got TNT, No Not A Lot, K Jelson P, uh, a Blur909. Welcome in the Kit Fox, Blur. Welcome, Blur. Blur's new. Happy days. 
P H B or A, I think you're new as well, or I didn't see it because it only shows about 20 tags at a time. Welcome, uh, P H B or A. Fabra, maybe. DCS Docs, Ullman, Skyhawk, Falcon, and many others, as we'll see as we go. So, you know, welcome everybody. And if you're new to flight simming, join us on the North European server live, and we have a bit of crack. I, Mother Death Kill. Yeah, no, <laughs> and if you. If you're new to the stream, Taxi. like you know, you you might you might find us so so airfield to be a bit challenging, like you know, but don't give up on it, like you know, it's all part of the learning curve. I crash all the time, uh, and you learn a lot by crashing in the simulator. Yeah. Now this is my throttle, and this here I'm using the stick, folks. Here, so can you see me rudders? Not really. You might see my legs going. Maybe that's about. So I'll try. Yeah, you see, I don't know. Now, so you'll see something, okay? See something happening. So let's taxi and we, we'll get going. Can we kind of take? I, oh, I, I was breaks. lazy. I already lined up here. Like, you know, it's like, um, okay. anyway, it's like I'm ready to go, I think. I will also be ready to go in about two seconds. Uh, I can't see any center line or anything. We're just going to go. So I'm going to go full blast. It's, it's, it's a grass trip. So yeah, I, 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 I think. New flaps. Oh, there you go. There you Back go. Back the stick. I yep. I can see. Right rudder. I get rid of the brakes. I put everything Pushing. forward. Pushing forward now to get the tail off the ground. I'm going to, I'm going to take the trees. This could start off very badly. Uh, oh. I think I can now. If I pull up now. That's slippy grass. Oh, I love the sound. I love the sounds. I just. Anyway. Here we go. I'll do a circle because I know you all got to take off. Trimming. I love flying with a stick. Oh, it's a bit too sensitive with the old, uh, the old track IR I'm using. You can see it on this side of my helmet and my head. So, uh, 57 knots. Flaps are already up. Let's have a circle around and see what we can see. There's everybody there. There's all the tags. Everyone's taking off. Happy days. Look at that. Everyone's so, nice. It's all good. That's really cool. I love it when we all take off together. It's quite cool. There's two, a Tango 2 2, Pyrotech, Ullman, taking off. Pete's New Zealand is there in car there. A P PH BRA, Ian got TNT, renewable drops down, taking off. Now I will get my heading. So oh, almost had a collision. What? You have a mid air collision? What are you doing that for? Because uh, I'm silly. I don't know why it's foolish. This is very nice. So I'm gonna come around, swip it around, and let's see if I can get. There's everyone there. Let's see if I can get on track and get the solar pilot set up. I'm jamming it in at full power here, folks. And uh, let's get the autopilot set up. So I want now. Let's just put my heading on here. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Let me just zoom in here a bit and I'll show you, right? There's the autopilot down here. This is actually very similar to the real sim gear what I'm using. You can't see what I'm doing though. I need to get a zoom camera for that. I don't know. I know. So heading there, but I want nav, so I want nav. Uh, set my altitude. So I'm going to go to, because we're 6,000 feet already. Almost seven. So I'm going to go to 9,000 feet. Uh, vertical speed is going to be set. 400, 500 feet a minute. And uh, let's see the transition. I have no flight director. I don't have a flight director. Okay, autopilot on. Okay, that wasn't a bad transition. Uh, except, the usual mistake, I don't have CDI uh, set. So where do I put the CDI? Let's go to heading for the moment. Back to heading mode. Now we're on heading mode. I kind of want to head north a little bit now. So, so CDI, uh, mm, yes, how do I select it? How does one, so just keeping an eye outside before I crash, which would be da uh, disastrous. So CDI, it's gonna be, oh, you can press the buttons in here. So, uh, audio, panic, panic stations. You know, we, we fly like we stole it. I think it's a uh, touch screen, no? It is a touch screen, but I'm just thinking before I start pressing buttons. Menu, maybe? Uh, press no, press no. where it says COM1. COM1? Oh, no, not COM1. NAV1? That's you, NAV. Let's turn to the north a bit. Hmm, uh, interesting. 
let's have a look at the comments. Boop. Okay, so I'm something like that. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. And then I can chit chat and look at get stuff going. Menu map. Active flight plan. Procedures. Setup. Nav one frequency. No. And that's just the frequency. It's a CDI. CDI. Oh, Gripper Sim, you're doing it again. Uh, make sure I don't crash into any hills. I've got full power on. I'll take a little bit of the prop back to get some power. Hopefully, I'll get more speed. I'm mumbling. Okay, so yeah. Uh, mm, very displeasing. CDI. So you see here, it says, see what I'm looking at if you're new to flight simming here. This is to a VOR station, a radio station. I want GPS. So I want to change this to GPS. Oh, oh, look. How brilliant is that? You just click on the compass rose, Colonel Click. Oh. You click on the compass rose with your finger. CDI source, VOR1. I want that to GPS. Keep clicking through. There's GPS. Happy days. Hit the back button then. Hit the old autopilot uh, nav button. Oh, it's automatically selected as it, as it does. Ah, uh, it's going to have difficulty turning, but there we go. Let's have a look outside. That's very easy. Yeah, it was so simple. That, you know, who's to know. There's Captain Hook back with us. He's also flying the X-Cub. Oh, that looks really cool. Did we haven't found that uh, flying these little cubs are great fun. They're probably a million quid in the real world as well, Colonel Clink, I'd imagine, are they? It's, got, um, it's fairly expensive, all right. Yeah, they're all expensive. They're all very expensive. Uh, thank you, Flying Midgey. Uh, you probably clicked, told me that already, and I didn't look over at the comments. Click on the center compass on the first screen. Thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you very much, folks. Wonder who's going to crash first. Put hands up, probably me. We'll see who crashed first. We shall see, folks. Is that turning? Should that not be turning? No, it's not going to turn yet. So, we're on to Oh, here comes the first airfield. I love these busy airfields. Now, let's get this. Get the recorder up. Let's get the recorder. And... Where is the flight recorder? Because last week I forgot the first one. Come on, flight recorder. Hurry up. Hurry up. Recording. So we can record our... Landing. Or crash landing. Right. Into the cockpit. Where's the noise of the wind gone? Anyway. Huh. Uh, I'll it off. Oh, I'm on the wrong stick. All the pattern off. Now the wind's back now again. We'll have to play around with that. The wind is a little bit too high, and that's uh, a setting I can change. There's everyone going in there now. I'm going to leave the power on, full power, because it'll be here all day. Now that sound of the wind is very high, I'd say, folks, isn't it? So what I'm going to do, as I'm coming in to land, I'm going to go to FS Realistic, which is an add on. And I'm going to turn down. Airframe wind. There we go. Wind ambience as well. There we go. That's much. That's more like it. Yeah, I'm overspeeding a little bit. I thought this was 130 in the cruise, and it's given out now. It's only at 100 and 120 knots, and I'm in the in the. I just have to. Mm, I just have to throw it in. I can't see an airfield there. I, I just have like uh, um, you know the speeds kind of change. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, it's a grass field. I can't actually see a a runway, so to speak. Oops. You know? Sorry. So is it the it's track, like a road? No, it's next to it. Oh, I see. It's right. It's right before. Okay, I see. Okay, take the power back. Oh god, I'm going too fast now. I'm going too fast. I might do a right hand orbit for spacing. That's how you get out of that one. Right hand orbit for spacing. Let's get the uh, old track IR going. Now I've got the right speed, 17 knots. Let's not crash into the, to, to the lake. You know. No challenging weather today. 66 knots, great. I can sort that out from here. 
We're losing a fair amount of altitude. There we go. That's perfect. Now. Don't know which way the wind is blowing. I don't know. Props fully for the props forward. It's there. Oh, oh, oh. Stop chitter chattering, Gripper Sim. Get your feet on those. Oh, I'm not I'm using the wrong throttle. I was using the I wasn't using I wasn't adding power at all. I thought I was. Trim up, trim up, trim up, trim up. Get those flaps down. My flaps are coming down now. Oh you see my this is I'm flying my left hand, which I'm not used to. So let's just do a nice landing because it's gonna be embarrassing if I don't get it. So I'm gonna have to pay attention to the sides. Power's all off. Three pointer. Boom. There we go. While keeping the stick back, I'm adding brakes. Otherwise you do this. Oh, I'm not going fat. It'll nose over on you. I'll just... Oh, we didn't do our... Oh, there we go. That's a lot in there. The nose went up. Uh, so, let's see everyone else coming in. Uh, we have... Oh, look at this guy. Who's this? What's going on here? Oh, he's got one of those VTOL jets. Oh. Here comes someone in the King Air. Nice one. Uh, someone on a twin, another twin there. That's the Beach Baron. Very nice. Straightening the camera, sorry for this. Boom. Here comes someone else. The tag isn't coming up. Captain Hook's coming in. Uh, this is someone in the Kodiak. Very nice. Put in your reverse thrust. <laughs> they have. And uh, the rule is, Colonel Clink, I've got to take off where I landed, isn't it? Well, it's just... It, it, that's that's what it is. I have to do the same thing. And it, where are you? Uh, just before you. On the runway. Yeah. Oh, I can't see you. Sometimes it doesn't do that. Well, oh, there you are. <laughs> mm, I'm looking right at you. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I won that one. <laughs> okay, let's take off again, will we? Okay, let's 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 try to take off from here. Hang on a second. I have that set. I have that set. Blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, I didn't do the replay. I didn't do the replay. It changed to that. I, I just okay. bear with me. You ready to go? No, because I didn't do the replay. Let's have a look. I'm going to take a sec. I don't think. What's replay? I'll go very close up to the runway. Resume replay. And outside. Showcase view. Come on, computer. Showcase view. No, I want the showcase view. Reset cam. There we go. I, ah, no, that's I'm gonna take go. off before you so Do. you can see how bad it is. Okay, so it wasn't too bad. I was an okay landing. There you go. I'm I'm rolling. A little bit of dust to the wheels, folks. I love the dust. Let's just. You. Uh, pause me, play. I love the dust. You know, coming in. Let's go right up close this time, right? I hit the tail first. That's not the end of the world. There we go. Now look at the dust. Behind, when you get on to the, the sandy part. There it is, look. I like that. Nice touch. Okay, so not too eventful. A normal landing, which we're not... And that was when I... Yeah. Y you know what that is. Uh, stop recording. Stop recording. Uh, start the recording again. That's what I'm doing on the screen to the right. We're now recording again. And let's take off and blam it up in the air. So no, no danger stalls there. Full power. Flops up to take off. Feet on the brakes. Come on. And off we go. Go on. Come on. I'm back at the tail. I'm applying back pressure on the stick. I can believe that. Back pressure on the stick. A bit of rudder action there. Forward pressure now. The speed comes up. Oh, oh, don't get a prop strike. And up, 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 oh. Off we go. That's the stall one. I'm not going fast enough. What's going on with my power? Because I'm, I'm, I'm applying back pressure like 20 degrees. I'm getting that illusion. I'm going uphill now. See, this is the illusion that's really dangerous in mountain series, and I just got that there. Hence the stall. It's going, oh, it's up to my speed. It looks like I'm level. But I'm, I'm at, look. Is that 18? That's 10 degrees there. So, as you can see, it's a death valley, potentially. Uh, and if I took my flaps up a little bit sooner, I might be all right. Another mistake there, I had 20 flaps, I only needed 10 or none. 
maybe. Right, so we're off again, Colonel Click. Yeah. No, don't crash into anything. Well, this could be a possibility. I got that illusion, and it's fascinating to see it in the flight simulator. I was pulling back way too much. I, wa I was going into a hill. Uh, now we're all safe. 70 knots. I want more speed. All the flaps are here. There's nothing I can do about the flaps. Uh, and if I take a little bit of the props back, I might get... I've got 2,600 RPM. A little bit of that there. A little bit of back. 2694. Let's just get that into cruise mode. Okay. I thought this was 130 knots cruise. I must have read wrong. See, I'm pitching up 10 degrees now to get over this hill. You're climbing still like a madman, no? I am climbing like a lunatic. Yeah, you have to climb even higher. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's telling me to turn around. I hate when it does that. So what I'll do here, I remember this before. The GPS is taking me back to a previous... Oh, we're going into the... Icing could be an issue this week, folks. I've got another problem with the nav here, so if I recall the next waypoint, I can go into flight plan, menu, active flight plan, and go forward to wait to this waypoint here. I think. Direct to. No. no I don't want to. Maybe if I delete it, can I delete that waypoint? Remove waypoint. There we go. I removed the waypoint. Okay, so it was taking me back. So now where I can activate the autopilot safely. Let's get my altitude first set up there at 9,000 feet. Vertical speed is now, you see here, 500 feet a minute. Autopilot on. Uh, that was a bit of a yank there. It's gone nuts. It's gone crazy. Auto pot it off. Auto pot it off. Uh, I didn't do that really, should it? Auto pot it on. No. Now it's going the right direction. 500 feet a minute. How much weight have I gotten so, on this airplane? So go ahead, sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm about fifteen miles out from Whiskey Alpha November Kilo. Okay, I'm throwing out the passengers and the baggage. Ah, can you hear them fall? I must get a sound effect for that as well. Outside the CFG. Oh just stop at your CFG, I don't care about any of that. Haha, <laughs> let's see what happens. So we should get a little bit of better performance throwing those people out. Uh five hundred feet a minute in this aircraft is too much, so I'm decreasing my and decreasing my climb altitude and I'm in a very dangerous place now because I can't see out ahead of me ah there's a mountain ahead okay this is going to be tricky folks where is the producer buttons the producer buttons has left the room and that usually means there's something bad happening I know there's something bad happening. I know she's up to something. Uh, that's mischief. Now look at this. This hill's in front of me here. Let's see. I love the weather in this. Uh, oh, x plane by the way. x plane 12. Bait is that, Colonel Clink. Yeah. I don't know. It's like um, it's out since this week, I think. No. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm in trouble. So let's get out of the trouble. Dangerous happening. Uh, mm, maybe not. Yeah. So X planes come out. They forgot to see. They got the light. You remember, it used to be kind of dull few airplanes, it's a beta, uh, speed increasing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't have the 60 quid 
to spend on it at the moment. It's quite expensive. How much was Flight Sim, the initial? I I don't know. Because you can get it as part of their... Um, let's climb up a little bit here. You get it from the Xbox Ting Me Bob. The Xbox Mac Store, yeah. yeah. But... I'm trying to increase altitude as I'm talking. Uh, you can pay monthly and you get loads of games, including Microsoft Flight Sim, so it works out quite well. The deal with Xbox, you know? And you get them on the PC as well. So I, d I can't recall how much it was. Does anyone remember there in the comments how much it was? Anybody at all? Or how much it is? But anyway, uh, it's it's really X-Plane 11. I'm, I'm, I'm just about to fly With past uh, Inca in his PC6. Oh, very good. Let's look outside. And I have to say with the x there are some things I missed out there. Like the weather is much better, you know. I, I'll, I will download it and, and do a video on it at some point. I thought I'd do it with the beta, but I thought I'd, I want to get... Ooh, there goes Kodiak underneath me. But I'm, I'm not putting it down at all. I was just like, ooh. I thought they might do a deal with Google Maps or something. You yeah, know. I don't know. I was hoping that would happen. But the flight dynamics are, are very, very good in X-Play. Really. This is catching up, though. Microsoft is catching up. Let's see where we are. We have got to... We're taking a turn. Oh, okay. So it looks like we will be doing the bonus airfield current click. Possibly, yeah. I think we will be doing the bonus one. Um, I think so. Now, I'm getting very slow here. Because the climb rate at this altitude... I, I'm not... I, like, I'm at almost 10,000 feet here. So I'm going to decrease the climb to 400 feet a minute. I'm, I'm, should I look? I'm going to level off here, actually. To 9.7. And that will give us a bit of speed. I'm 48 knots here. It's ridiculous. So as you go higher, of course, you've got less density in the air. Uh, and you've got, go, you've got to go even faster to keep that air going over the top of the wing to create the negative pressure. Yada, yada, yada. So the performance is much worse. So, uh, on the way down, though, we can collect some speed. So, I'm only at 62 knots. I'm going to be behind everybody. Let's have a look at the tags. I honestly thought this would be uh, 130 knots. It did say the cruise is 130. We are very high, but still, when we get to the cruise, it should, you know, wouldn't it? Increase uh, speed. Uh, you know, I'm doing uh, 130 knots uh, indicated at the moment, and that translates into. 150 odd knots ground speed. Maybe in the bonus airfield I'll change it. Because I'm going to be paddy last now. <laughs> but my landings will be good. A builder now. Builder. Yeah. Oh, of course. Uh, of course my landings will be good. Why aren't I getting the tags? Give me the tags. Microsoft. I saw somebody there. Where are the tags, folks? Oh yeah, uh, I meant to say this to Colonel Craig. I was just reading Nighthawk's comment there very quickly. Uh, the next airfield current link is Whiskey Alpha November Kilo. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and and and, uh, how would you say that very quickly? Whiskey Alpha November Kilo. Yeah, with the word. Uh, whiskey Alpha and a kilo? What word? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes, interesting. The next uh, airfield, Nighthawk says, it's censored by the mods. <laughs> uh, Kumopa is the next one. It's, it's a real airfield. Like, I don't know what the problem is. It is. I just thought it was hilarious. And it's a bit of a flight to this place, isn't it? No, hang on. What? It's, it's, hang on. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in a bit. Oh, there it is. There, there. I want to say the word. I want to say, will I be banned? I will be banned I possibly from YouTube. But, you know, they're banning everyone and, and you know, for anything these days. Uh, but there's the airfield there. Okay, so let's start descending and get the speed up. 81 knots. Uh, let's get the autopilot off and do some crazy madness. Pull the pilot off. 
And I can't see that anybody else has activated the old thing there. Oh, that's not a good view at all. There. There we go. So I've got to get the mouse, activate this screen, and press the backspace button, but they're not showing up. So we're going to hear some rumbling for the overspeed. Where is it? It's down below me. No, let's do uh, a, a loop the loop around the way. And over the top of the loop, I'm releasing the back pressure. And power comes off. Let's get the speed up. And off we go. Uh, I wonder is it over this hill, folks? I think it's over the top of this hill. As you can see with the GPS. Uh, I'm going to say that word. Uh, whiskey, what? Alpha, November Kilo. Okay, so today we bad. landed Wang. <gasps> <laughs> We're destroyed. Well, if there's someone on YouTube watching, okay, we're we're being very good, and we're saying whiskey alpha November kilo. You know, ah, they're always giving me copyright anyway for the music that I've already paid for. Do you know? Oh, copyright! You gotta explain yourself. Yep, yep, yep. That's the world we live in. Uh, uh -huh. The Kodiak is too quick for a porter. Currently in Kaha, says in car. Yep, the Kodiak is too quick for the porter, he says, yes. So it's going to be over the top of this hill, and I'm not going fast enough. So much for the 130 crews. I swear to God, I looked at the airplane, and I selected current click, and it said cruise 130, so that must be an error in Microsoft, you know? So probably I can't see the tags because I'm so far behind everyone else. What I could do currently think is change the aircraft. Well, let's not waste time. We're almost there anyway. So in this air after this airfield then, that means what we'll probably do is Right, when we land here, did you say you wanted to take the break, current think? Or no, now we're only we're only forty seven minutes into it now, so the next one after this. The next one after this. Yeah. No, I was saying that, like we'll you know, when I'm looking break. when I'm looking at the uh, landing performance of the porter, like you know. It's like, uh, um, I'd rather fly the Kodiak. I know. <laughs> I just thought I'd do something different. Ooh, <laughs> there's the airfield down there. There's the airfield down there, folks. Look. There it is. Interesting. Crazy madness beginning. Taking all the power back. All the levers forward. Uh, now, with x -Play, the side slip works very well, but... Microsoft not so much. Let's see if it works this one. It doesn't really slow you. That should slow you down, like, really seriously. You know? So. Oh, oh, 70 knots. 77 knots, sorry. Yeah, so it's not really side slip. So I'm going to dump. Do really what you shouldn't do. Is there all the flaps in the side slip? Oh, man. This is. See, I gotta lower the nose. I might do an orbit. Let's do play this safely. Right. Let's do a right hand orbit for spacing. Okay. Uh, keep my hand on the throttle. Now again, I've set it up so I'm, I'm, I'm flying like at the Airbus now. With the stick on my left, if that makes sense, at my left hand. So, I much prefer my right hand. And I see what people are saying about the Airbus. With the stick on the left side. Lose some speed as well, well, altitude as well. Well, normally you fly the aircraft with a left left hand. No, I use my right hand. Yeah, Mostly. but you're sitting on the wrong side anyway. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Flaps but, coming down. But the 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 weirdest the weirdest bit is like in most uh, planes, like you know, like this, like in a specific stick, it's like you have you used to have like the the, the yoke in your left hand and your ha right hand on the throttle in a 
So, so you you use your right hand, do you? Well, normally, normally on a, in going a, into this airfield. In a in a, in, a, in a plane, you have like your left hand on the yoke and your right hand on the throttle, right? And what hand are you using to come into this particular airfield? Well, I have my right hand on the throttle and my left hand on the yoke. But in that plane, but you're flying, you have what your right hand landing. on the yoke and your left hand on the throttle. Okay. <laughs> so you're, you're doing everything wrong. I'm <laughs> doing everything wrong. I'm doing everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody knows that there for some reason. Uh, oh yeah, let's go outside. I, I was laughing there. Uh, let's let's. Uh, right. Oh here, okay. Let's just uh, watch. What are you doing? What? My airplane is going. You stop rolling backwards. There we go. Oh, my airplane is running backwards there. Uh, oh, man's coming in. And the Beechcraft uh, looks like he's doing flyby. Uh, yeah, no, Very it's nice. like, Very oh, nice. he's, no, is he, uh, he's going to go around. Good man. I think over the that. hills. Will yeah. he stall, he stall, he stall, stall going over that hill there? And doesn't look like it. N oh, 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 man, it's in trouble. Oh, man, maybe. In Come on, speed up the camera. No, he's gotten out of it. He's gotten out of it. He's okay. Winner all right. Winner all right. Here comes... Oh, sh I missed uh, Shavy Sim there. Darn it. Here comes Serial Paul here in the Cessna 208. Over the trills. Over the way, over the trees. Oh! Oh! What up? You just hear the tree? I hear the tree. I hear the tree. Uh, some of the trees have collision detection. Collision detection. So, okay, let's hop back in, yeah. So, we're going to have a quick look at my recording. Uh, let's have a quick look at the replay and let's see if that was actually a butter smooth landing. I don't know. Let's see if it really was. Uh, replay. Uh, reset the cam. Uh, Damn it. No, no, no. Sorry about this, folks. I've got to be quicker at this. Boom. Resume replay. Boom. Reset cam. Reset cam. Where is it? There we go. Okay. I was doing S turns there. I'm going to declutter. I was doing S turns there just to slow down. That's what I was doing here. Uh, with the S turns. The flaps are all down. And here we go. Here's one coming into land now. The, 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 I'm showing you about the recorder. It just, you know, as you know, it doesn't record the other people, what they did. The good thing about X plane is the recorder, to be honest with you, the replay function. Have one. Oh yeah, yeah. X-Plane's very good with the replay, yeah. It's not an add-on or anything like that. So, did I hit the trees there coming in? No, no. No, let's have a look at this side. Let's see if it was such a buttered landing. Keep the camera still. Oh, it's okay. Oh, there's a wing gone. That's so bad. And then I stopped here. Very nice. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I, I'll take that. I'll take that. And then I was rolling backwards, so that's minus points. Uh, let's stop the replay. And let's just go from where I was. Stop recording. Stop replay. Record again. Yep. Okay, are we Boom. ready to go? Yes, let's go. Okay, let's go. So everything is forward. Short of the shoulder, brakes are off, brakes are set. Now, flaps. What's going on with my flaps here? I do. Oh, I took them up. Okay. Right. Uh, no flaps this time. Full power. And off we go. Park and brake off. No, oh, wrong switch. Park and brake off. Off we go. Well, I don't know if I get out of this now, folks. I really, I really don't. I. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, stolen, oh, stolen, stolen. Oh, Colonel Hink had stolen, 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 stolen. Oh, God. So will I. Off we go. No! No! No, not today! Murder death kill, I died. You see? Now, we're gonna do. We should have been down here. You see what happens when you don't use the whole airfield and we're going uphill? There you go, folks. Right, let's try it from here, like a sensible person. Alright? <laughs> now. Let's try it again. 
Come on, Mr. Flight Sim. Uh, no. Okay. Deep breath. Full power. Everything forward. And go. So we're going uphill. It's going to take a long bit of rudder. It's going to take a long time. To get, oh, don't get the no, don't get a nose strike. Don't get a nose strike. Okay, just keep it straight. Don't waste lots of drag on the ground. I'd like to get off the ground and accelerate in ground effect. I may not make this easy now. 47 knots. Easy. Okay, we're getting out. We're getting out. And I have to use every inch. I barely made that. Barely, barely made it. Yeah, very tricky. I'm, I'm probably like 15 degrees nose up there. We probably should have taken off the other way around because it was uphill on top of it. Yes, it was uphill and into the trees, but that wouldn't be fun if we didn't, no. you know. Yeah, I, 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 you crash and I crash. Yeah. Everybody crash. Crash, 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 crash. Uh, everybody else was clever. 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 Uh, uh, clever. Clever. It's like they, were they, they, they all than you took were. off downhill. <laughs> they did. Yeah, they're not listening to us. In the river uh, down there. Yeah. So heading uh, north east. And I've got that. Oh, okay, I'm level. Let's see if we can activate the autopilot and do this properly. A nice, smooth transition to the autopilot. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still circling around the hills here. So before I switch on the autopilot. Oh. Yeah. Let's go to let's say nine thousand. Oh, let's go to eight thousand three, seven thousand five hundred. Okay. Uh. Let's get on heading. Let's set the vertical speed to 500 feet a minute. I'm actually at a thousand feet a minute, so let's not get a big bump. Oh God, if I keep doing that, I'm, not, I'm, I'm like 50, I'm 12 degrees now, so pitch now. This is, this is gonna be a tricky one. And I'm slowing down to get over this hill. But this is not gonna happen. 50 knots, over those trees, go on, go on. Not the best place to be flying. Next cup, I think. Over the hills. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Panic stations. And, oh, you're taking us right over the top of that hill. See, I've got that illusion again. I'm actually 10 degrees nose up, but it looks like it could be level. Do you know? Trimmy, trimmy, trim, trim. The trim is very slow. Where is the trim? Yeah, I'm working hard now, you see. Okay, we're in a bit of a problem here. Okay, we're in a kind of a death valley here. There's no doubt about it. So, 40 knots. And 10 degrees still nose up. I need to, we're going into the, we're going into a dodgy place here, folks. I'm, I'm worried. 43 knots. I gotta get over this hill. Oh god, I could crash again. I'm going to have to go around all these hills. Let's know the nose so we can get some speed up here. The trim is not... See, it must be trim nose up altogether here. Because we are quite high. Now, yeah, let's get around this hill. I can't put the autopilot on because it goes smack into that hill. This is all Colonel Fink's doing. And I'm flying my right hand now. See, I'd like to be like this, but I'm like this. There we go. Yeah, so no autopilot for me. i got to get as high as I can. Oh, here comes the rain. Oh, great. Now, let's get this under control. Let's get the autopilot on. Right, where was I? Uh, I Clouded rain. Hills. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. 10,000 feet. Okay, I'm going to come out now in a second. I am now getting 900 feet a minute. Mm, vertical speed, all these buttons are going to press. Let's go for 800 feet a minute. Autopilot on, excuse my French. Autopilot on. And where's he going? Where are you going, airplane? Okay, we're in trouble. <laughs> we is in trouble, folks.
Come on, Trim. What are you doing to me? I'm not having a good time with the trimmer. I wonder what the temperature is. The temperature is not here. Well, outside temperature is at the moment eight eight degrees Celsius. So okay, it says, so. and I'm at ten thousand feet. Okay, I'm past. I'm just past eight thousand six hundred feet. Now it looks to you folks at home that I'm kind of level there, right? But no, I'm, I'm five degrees nose up. I'm not getting a very good climb. I've got more mountains now to c come over. Come on, says Flying Miggy. A lot of panic, panicking pilots up this valley, says Flying Miggy. Now this is the challenge. So I see our, everyone's following the valley here. Because we can't get over these hills here. Not a hope. Not a hope in hell. So you're going to go straight for the moment. So let's try not to crash. Oh, the rain. The rain has come, folks. Yeah, rain. Mm. I'm climbing 300 feet a minute. So I'm going to go to heading mode. Heading mode activated. And let's set my heading. Let's get some thought into this. Autopilot own. Okay. Let's get the first. Let's run higher. Jeez. Vertical speed is now. I'm going to go to 1,100 feet a minute. See what speed that gives me. So we may not make it out of this. We, we may not get there alive. Let's have a look outside. I love the way the whole atmosphere changes now with the weather. Look how high. I'm only 200 feet above that. Uh, I need to get up there, folks. I need to get up there. 49 knots, slowing down. I'm only getting 350 feet a minute. That ain't going to happen. Let's decrease my rate of climb to 300 feet a minute. I'm only getting 200. I'd like to turn left, but I can't. Everyone's going out to the right side, so maybe I'm not going to get over this. So I'm going to turn to the right, again away from course, more off course to see how this is going to happen. Wow. Oh, we're never going to get over that. This is just, this is going to be a long stream, folks. Oh, <laughs> stally, stally, stall, stall. Don't do that now. I didn't need to do that. Why did that happen? Go away. I'll get over this ridge. Oh wow, this is actually this is uh death death's gonna happen. Okay, I can go down there if all the shit hits the fan. But if I get over this ridge I'm going almost the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just gotta concentrate on getting higher. Uh the trim is a pain in the neck. I don't know why it's doing that to me. It's only an electric trim of this one. Oh god, this is the this is the moment. This is it. This is mountain flying the danger. I'm 42 knots now, I'm not gonna make it over the silicon kernel think. No damn way. This is tall water. The wing wants to drop. Death! Wing gone. Death. <laughs> So I think I'm good for the moment and over the hoods. Oh, oh that was rough. Crash, 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 crash. Crash, 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 crash. We're going camping. Yeah, it's it's a tough one. That I couldn't get over this. Look at this. There's no way this airplane's going to get up there. No way. Okay, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Okay. No way that airplane's getting up there. We've got a bit of power, and we're about maybe we're ten thousand feet now. So well, I'm at thirteen thousand five hundred feet to clear everything. How's that? Yep. Uh, 
let's see if anyone spotted that. Come on, trimmer. Come on. The trim is doing my head in. Okay, let's see if anyone spotted that. Let's have a look at the comments there. I don't think so. forgot about all this stuff that we never do. Uh, now. Okay, we're good. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not flying a jet today. I'm not flying a turboprop today. I'm not flying the Kodiak. Uh, let's try with this then. Right, okay, so that's that. Let's just get every inch out of it here. Now we're getting 450 feet a minute. Uh, I want to turn towards the course. This is going to be... I've got more mountains to climb now. Let's see if we can get over this hoop. Okay. Right. Heidi, I'm going to get to the autopilot so I can just work out some stuff here. 030 will do roughly there. And what else we'll do? Autopilot own. Oh, okay. Okay. So now we're at 70 knots. We got a good way to climb. I'm going to put the altitude up to 14,000, 15,000. Let's see what we can get. 15,000. We got 68 knots now. Let's see if we can get any more out of this. I want to set that for cruise. I don't know the power settings, I'm guessing. I'm playing with the mixture here a little bit more, you see. 40, 50, going down. That's going down. Not about there. Had it there, it's very sensitive. So that's as good as we'll get there. Nope. Back. I'm looking here, folks. At the RPM here. Which is here. So I'm playing the mixture together about 640. Oh. Got 640 there. That'll do. Okay, so that's the most I'll get, pretty much. And we're climbing at 300 feet a minute. I will get more oh, 60 knots now I'm slowing down even more. So I'm looking for 300 feet a minute. I won't get 300 feet a minute. The maximum I'm getting is 250 minute climb. And we've got to make it over these hills again. Well, maybe we will. What we got? Maybe a minute. So let's go in between this valley. Changing heading a little bit. We're going to go in here. In this little valley in here. Everyone's probably sitting in the asphalt waiting for me, are they? No, or on the no, runway? No. no, some people still trying to figure out how to get into it. Uh, some <laughs> of them are on the ground. Now, Goofy FS said something very uh, common copy there. Common cop. Turn and climb, he's saying. Go in circles. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Just keep, you know, as much as you can. Um, but I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> Let's be dramatic. Nice view. You know, nice, uh, nice view. I'm going to take a right turn. Over here. Oh, God. I might be in a Death Valley now. now. I can turn away, but 
I'm going to try and get into that little valley there. Am I still climbing? 200 feet a minute. Okay. Now I'm going to use the autopilot because that might be just about 40 knots now. 40 knots. Can I do anything with the mixture? Okay, I'm going to stall. The wing's going to drop now shortly. Autopilot's a little bit slow. You see, the trim now has gone nose down. It keeps doing that. It resets. I don't know what's going on there. So I just need to get off this one hump here now, I think. So let's keep it at 44 knots and see if I can do a turn. But of course, the more you turn, the higher the stall speed gets. Uh, feet on the pedals now, because we're going to... I'm going to keep trying to climb. I'm descending now. This is very difficult. Okay, let's straighten her up. So I'm doing I'm doing orbits now in in, in like Giffy R S set. Right. Are you loving it? Giffy's loving this. He says. So with the trim I just do what I want. So I don't have to work too hard at it. De descending now again. I won't get I'm twelve thousand feet now. 40 knots. So I'm going to go down this way a bit. I'm going to get up these sails. 37 knots. I can feel the wing wanting to drop down. I'm lowering the nose a little bit now. Now take a nice gentle right hand turn. Over this way. This is tricky. I'm right on the edge now. I'm sending now. Straighten up the straighten the damn thing up. I'm just on short final here. I think I'm I'm running out of trim. Oh, 39 knots. I'm not getting any climb whatsoever. I'm probably past the service ceiling of this airplane current, I think. I'm not oh. getting any, I, I can't climb. I don't know, it's like it could be that it is like somewhere around twelve thousand feet or something like that. Yeah. Well, I'm not getting 500 feet a minute either. The X cup was a bad choice, folks. We just have no air. Because I did, you know, throw it up a little bit to make it easier for myself, but there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Now, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm just carrying lots of drag now. Lowering the nose a little bit, but for the moment, to get the speed up. I may have to cheat. Now, in, in, I'd say in the real world, I'd go back down and descend all the way back the way I came. But there you go. Uh, at 300 feet a minute, if I can see that with my eyes now, it's nothing again. So I can't get above 12,000 feet. Uh, it's a problem. It is a problem. I'm stuck in this valley. Can't get out. If I just another thousand feet, might do it. Okay, I'm again getting 300 feet a minute. Okay, but not for long. Cause the speed's dropping. I'm not moving my controls at all now. Just up there. That's all I'm going to go. Just up there. Yep. Uh, we're now 14 minutes now into the stream, and I can't get over this hill. You know, you know, on the um on the description of the flight plan where it said choose your aircraft wisely yes you chose poorly poorly you chose poorly that's another sound effect I need you chose poorly so I'm not going to make it I won't make it I'd have to go all the way home we have to sensibly admit some sort of defeat uh, aviation Nov is saying the service ceiling is 14,000. This isn't getting up there. Now, let's, let's... Yeah. Let's pretend we went back. All right. Uh, it's like when you, when you say the service ceiling is 14,000. Now, we are high-altitude mountain flying, so we have to, to take... 
uh, um, the density altitude into account as well. So yeah. you may already be on 14,000 feet. Yeah, so I just cheated a bit there. That was the last bit. I couldn't get over it. Uh, I was just going to crash again, really, or go home, you know, back the way I came. This little ridge here I couldn't get over in this, this aircraft. So I'll pop over. I'm popping over to you with the slew, and we're going to change aircraft for the next section, uh, I think. So there's the airfield there. Let's have a look before we go into land. That is a... Oh, it's asphalt. Okay, cool. So I, there's Quaggy going in there. So I'm coming in. I'm slewed. I cheated. I feel ter terrible. I know. And let's let's go. Hit the Y button. Oh, 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 oh. No, that knows. Oh, oh, oh. Declutter. I'm coming into land now. I had to cheat a bit there because people are getting bored waiting for me. So I had to admit defeat there. Oh, everything. Well, no, not everything fully forward. Because that's the mistake I've made. I messed up my mixture. Fire off. Flaps, flaps, flaps. I want to get in there and go too fast, of course, so I scoot it up. And danger size it. There we go. So a nice view at the left side window there. 50 knots. Now I'll start to straighten it up. Now let's see if we can get a nice landing here. I have no doubt. Let's add a little bit of power just to keep that engine turning. It's not hitting any trees. Find my left hand now, which is tricky enough. 48 knots. We're going to hear the storm water in a second. Let's see if I can stop this really short and beat down to think at least it's something today. <laughs> oh, get down! Oh, 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 this is a disaster this week. You know what they say. A good landing is a landing you can walk oh, away from. Oh, <laughs> dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You see, I was trying to do that thing, and you see, you can't jam on the brakes with these feckers. Do you know? You can't jam on the brakes like that, and we have no wind. Shame. Shame. Who's this coming in here? See, that's what I should have done. So I don't think I'll beat you this week, currently. Well, I don't know. I could do. If I didn't jam yeah. on the brakes like that. Well, because, te you know. Technically, like, you know, you, you landed short. I did. <laughs> Very short. <laughs> and I jammed on the brakes. Uh, uh, yeah. What are you going to do? Well, if we didn't have any crashes, what are you going to do? Will I try it again? What time will we? 118, yeah, we got some time. Right, so. Uh, I feel bad now if I didn't do it again. Let's fix the mistake, okay? Just for two seconds, and then we're going to take the break for five minutes, folks. So if you want to take an eight-minute break, now's the time to take the break. Uh, hit the buy button. What the deuce? Hit the buy button. Oh, Put me in a very strange place there. Let's just, do you know what I did there? I, I didn't give myself any time to set up my landing. And, you know, a good landing is followed by a good approach. You know? And I didn't give myself any time. Now, here we go. Slowing down. Okay, I can fix that speed. Add a bit of power. Now we're sucking diesel. All the flops are down. Now, now let's see. If we declutter. Now, let's just keep it at 50 knots this time. And I'm going to have to roll out a bit. So I'm going to, as I apply the brakes, I'll keep the nose back. There we go, it'll be a much nicer one. Coming over the hills, 53 knots. That's, I want 50 knots, not 53. Or 51, don't hit the tree scripper sim there. That made me get my 50 knots. See, it's harder with my, my left hand, but look. I can feel it wanting to stall a bit, keep a bit of power on. As I lower the nose, take the power off there, because I'll increase the speed. All the power's off now. As I flare, I'm going to lose a ton of speed. A bit of back pressure now. Back pressure, 48. 48. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay, now the wheels are on the ground. Now I'll break. Our, bring in that nose back. Break now for breaking. Oh, 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 oh! Don't do it to me now! 
We'll take a break here and click. <laughs> well, that is two out of three. I think we should take a break. I think we should take a break. Five minutes, folks. Where's the producer spots? I will get producer spots. Five minutes. <laughs> See you. And now, let's enjoy an intermission. We hope you filled your snack bar full of tasty treats to eat and drink. Perhaps a tempty tasting hotting dog, or a thirst quenching sugar drink. Some fresh crunching popping corn, perhaps, or an assortment of sugar coated sweetness, even enjoying a sickness stick. We've plenty of time, so visit your snack bar now. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Barker enjoying and gorging on the lovely treats with her lovely children. You could be doing this too, you still have time. And for those of you tea lovers, let's have a look at some tea making tips. Yes, the most important tea making tip, of course, when you have time, is to use the right mug. Yes, the right tea mug is always the right way. Look for the Gripperson tea mug. Yes, it makes your tea taste 20% better. No, don't worry, you still have plenty of time to make your cup of tea. Mrs. Ainsley Cretrap, what do you think of drinking a cup of tea from the Gripperson mug as opposed to the normal mug? Lovely. It's not everyone who can make a good cup of tea. Splendid, Mrs. Ainsley Crabtree. Now, here are the ladies discussing the six points of making a good cup of tea, and of course, the Gripperson mug will be included. Which number will it be? Can I remember them? Of course you can. Try now. All right, here goes. Number one. Mama, see the Gripperson mug? Always use a good quality tea. No, yes, of course. Good. Number two. Always use freshly drawn water, right? Um, number, three. number three, remember to warm the teapot or urn. Everyone knows that one. And number four, measure the right quantity of tea Butter. for the amount of water in the pot. Very good. Number five, the water must reach boiling point, pot to the kettle, not kettle to the pot. And the last rule, number six. Here we go. Let the tea brew for five to ten Damn minutes. Damn your eyes, woman! God bless. With the empty mug. Where does it all start? Sometimes here with an acid stomach, or here with tense, upset digestive nerves. It may even reach here with that fuzzy, achy feeling in the head. Are you suffering from intermission anxiety? It's the acid tension trouble triangle you're suffering from. Yes, now there's a new anti-intermission liquid, Peptis Liquid Elixir. It will break that bothersome intermission trouble triangle. This fast-acting liquid has no need to wait for it to dissolve as it's in liquid form. With unknown ingredients, it will settle acid in your stomach and those nasty intermission blues. Side effect of peptides may include constipation, skin rash or dermatitis, diarrhea, dizziness, drowsiness, dry mouth, severe migraines, insomnia, suicidal thoughts, abnormal heart rhythms, internal bleeding, cancer, loss of sexual appendages, funny walk syndrome, loss of hair, reddening of the hair, big red nose syndrome, whitening of the skin, unusual voice patterns, childish behaviours, a propensity to blow up balloons. Death. Break that intermission trouble triangle with Peptas. Yes, Peptas available somewhere. Just a minute, folks. Yes, that's all it takes to visit our refreshment counter in the lobby. There you'll find popcorn and an assortment of popular candy bars to please every taste. Try one of these delicious candy bars. Big time. Ingredients include chemicals derived from petroleum. Butternut. Preservatives including sodium benzoate and sulfur dioxide. No nuts included. Milkshake. Including wood pulp and duck feathers as fillers. Payday. Including propylene glycol, carcinogenic flavorings, including trace elements of starch, strychnine, and Topped lead. Topped with Hollywood's super rich coating of the kind you like best. They taste wonderful. They're delicious. They're nutritious. Get one at our confection counter in the lobby now. Now. A 
now a word from our esteemed producer. <coughs> Such kind words. And now back to our normally scheduled programming. <coughs> okay, we're back. We're back. I put my hammer on. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that happened. So, now, I chose... I chose Pearly, because the buttons left the room in shame. And I'm going to choose wisely now, Colonel Fink. Okay, what you now, choosing? What you choosing? I'm going to choose the last leg. Oh, it's not the last leg, it's... Uh, it's... One more to go before we come into the final stop. Okay, so let's choose what... What am I doing here? Go back. Let's have mine today. Zoom, let's play it. Would it change my outline? Oh, I have to come right out to the main menu and slew to you. Oh, I just slew it. Mm. I'll slew to you. It won't take two seconds. So, uh, poor, chase of, uh, poor choice of airplane on my part. Um, what did I do there at the end? I had brakes on. I had it all the way back. I just broke too much. Maybe I put the stick forward too soon. I don't know. I think I did. Now, so, let's choose wisely. Uh, aircraft selection. Let us try. Any suggestions from anybody? Let's have a look at the comments there. Kodiak, it is then. I'm not going to do the Kodiak out of pure stubbornness. <laughs> I'm going to select something. Oh, 150 is too slow. Uh, the cruise speed. Now, actually, if you don't mind, the Cub... Right, let's see the cruise speed of the Cub here. See, it says cruise speed 126 knots there. Max altitude 14,000 feet, okay, so I was high. Uh, anyway, yeah, so how about um, the something everybody would fly? DA-40? TDI? Oh, the NG. 136 knots. Let's try something like that, okay? And and uh, and, and do that. Let's get a nice livery here. Oh, they're all the boring liveries. Okay, let's use a white one. Close, and we are here. So I tell you what I'm going to do, folks, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to load the flight plan. Let's say, go to this PC. Uh, do, do, do. Fly. I'm going to slew over to you and take a second because it's actually quite short hops. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, that, that's, that's. I just find it amazing with flights and that you'll actually see this high. I don't know if you'll get that really in X-Plane, uh, but this high, this effect of, it's a known effect in mountain flying that you think you're straight and level, but you're not, you're raising the nose quite a lot and you're slowing down because of it. And then you stall and it's an illusion. It's fascinating to see. You know, <clears throat> also the tail draggers, you know, they're different. Uh, now, <coughs> coffee, coffee, cough, cough, change the time of day. We want real leather, real leather. I said real weather. Let me go 1232. That's fine. And let's hit the Y button. We're engines are all started up. Uh, go to real time. It's like it's fine. Oh, is it OK? Uh, I want to head. So you can't see what you're doing when in the cockpit with the down sleep on. Let's zoom out. Sorry about this delay, folks. I want to go north. No, where are you again? Uh, with the long one. We had the are, long one. Okay, so I only got north. Alpha Yankee Bravo. I only got. Oh, okay. So I do want to go north. And we're gonna go from Let's here. Anyway. We're gonna go to Wacky. 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 So I'm still even in slew mode. I'm hitting the mountains. Oh, that pushes me up though, this is, which is great. Am I heading the right direction here? Yeah. That must be 600 knots worth. Um, yeah, there we go. We're up. We're flying towards it. Let's see if I can see your tags. Let's just check. Oh. Yankee Bravo, isn't it? Uh, we are Yankee Bravo, yeah. There you are. Told you it wouldn't take too long. I just did that, folks, so I'd have the GPS still. 
So no, technically you have to land now. You know what I mean? Oh, do you want me to land? Okay, oh, let's yeah. land. Okay, let's see what where Sue puts me. Yeah, of course it'll land. Okay, we're not over speeding or anything. Uh, let me get my view organized here. And I still got the stick. Oh, no, no. 100 knots is not going to be good. Let's declutter. Let's do some S turns. We'll get in there reasonably quick. Oh! F12 to center my view. Set up the seat a little bit. I'm just doing crazy stuff here to get down. Yeah, scaring the passengers. Oh! The screams are much improved in FS Realistic. <laughs> ah, I'm so evil. Gears fixing this airplane. Let's get some flaps down. Still a hundred knots. Just won't slow down. Are you nose down? I'm going crazy here. There's a bit of stall. There we go. Now we get to slow speed. Oh, 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 oh. Coming in from the side. I'm rushing this as well. You see, it never goes well. It never goes well when you rush it. Ever. I'm gonna throw it down. Get down! Get those wheels on so I can brake! Oose! Breaky, breaky, brake, brake. See how much easier it is. Now, one thing I'd like to do. No, I won't. Okay, I'm on the ground, and that's what I have left to take off with. So, flaps to take off. And after this, we are going to go. Are we gonna go now to Wacky? Oh yeah, it's behind us. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do that then. Okay, so let's see if I can get off this hill in this DA40. Okay, I'd really want to have my hand over the other side. You see over here? I got another throttle down here. I'd love to change that over. Do you know? Because that's my... Anyway, right, are we all ready all to right. go? Yeah, we're ready to go. So, brakes are loose, brakes are set. Forward, forward, and... Off we go. Off we go. <laughs> uh, I don't like flying my left hand. I've decided to have the stick. You get used to it. You get used to anything. You're getting used to it. 30 knots. I'm just... I'm put a sucker for punishment now. Tail strike into the trees. That was another crash that wouldn't have happened. Positive way to climb, flaps coming up. Flaps are up, turning around. Activating. Ca uh, camera is not doing what I wanted to do there. See, I think I'm sitting too high, the seat is why. Here we Oh, it's hitting off the seat. That's what's happening with my camera. Okay, so. What's it? What's hitting off the seat? Uh, my track IR. When I turn my head, it touches the seat. Uh, some sort of collision detection thing. Oh, okay. So it's just what viewers could see it now. See, they don't want to go there. See, it's hitting the side of the cockpit, I think. There we go, okay. I look up. No, it's just. I have to Track IR. I don't like fitting with it all the time, you know. It's a bit of a pain. There we go. Get your ear. Oh, it's a bit more powerful here. Let's take the power back a little tad. Uh, the CPS give me something. No. Right, we're going to wacky now, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to Wacky. Okay, so let's activate it's the other part. It's not too far, it's about 15 miles or so. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see what that gives us. Straighten level flight. 
Let's get higher a little bit to get over those hills. Altitude select. Uh, another thousand feet. Product speed up, please. 500 feet a minute will do. And we're off. Let's have a look outside at this DA40. DA42s, for those of you who don't know, are very... Sorry, DA40s and DA42s are very popular aircraft in the training world now. If the flight school is in any way uh, rich, I suppose. Um, in Europe, you know, there are very popular... Tra and in America, very popular trainers. We don't have any in Ireland, as far as I know, in training schools yet. Well, there are a, a couple of DA-42s. But in training schools? In training schools, yeah. In, in Waterford? Uh, Cork, Atlantic and Waterford. Oh, Cork, yeah. do Cork have them? Yeah. It's, oh. um, it's like, what is it, Atlantic. They use the DA-42s for the uh, twin trainers. Oh, do they? Okay. When was that, I wonder? Because last uh, time I was down there, oh, it was a long time ago I was down there. For quite some time. Well done, well done, Cork Atlantic Flight Training. I think for uh, the single engines, they're using 172s. Okay. Okay, I get you. Now we're bombing along. 100 and we're climbing at 150 feet a minute. We're leveling off now. We're accelerating past 113 knots. So that's a bit better now. Um, I just have to get used to to flying my with my left tonight with my left hand. Simple as that. I do like the DA42s. I love this kind of screen. Um, you know. Mind you, I didn't mention there that Newcastle have, have a Viper, which is like this, you know? Uh, yeah. And, you know, there's more coming, apparently, which is going to be really cool. Which is a really nice aircraft. Absolutely. Uh, I I'm, I wonder whether I have one for Microsoft Flight Sim. Hopefully, I come out. Hopefully. 122 knots now. Very easy to fly, the Viper. And it's very easy to fly. It's a pleasure, yeah. Nice modern cockpit. It's only a two-seater, though. This is a four-seater. But, you know, who sits in the back in your train? Yeah, I suppose it's a DA-20 will be uh, the more equivalent to that. Oh, yes, of course. Very, very good detail as usual. You can see even there the fuel. Uh, that looks like it's a fuel strainer for the bottom of the engine. It certainly is. Great detail. Right. <coughs> so we're about seven miles out from Waki. Yep. No, don't, don't mistake uh, uh, Wacky with the final destination. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> right beside us. Yeah. That's the nearest one. Wacky. We're going to Wacky Tobacco. Maybe over this hill here, perhaps, folks? No word of the ATR, is it? No. Just reading the comments here. Incar says, some say that producer buttons has a sixth sense. Yeah, she's not impressed. She's not here. I went out during the break and she's just sleeping on a couch. You know, I went out to pet her and she just put her eyes up to heaven. Okay, let's cut her up and see who's out flying with us.
Where's everybody? There's everybody there. There's everyone there. Everyone's kind of split up a little bit there because of all the madness. At least I get some of your landings, folks, you know, and when I get there first. The Shady Sim windage, they're all properly on the... Oh, it's in this valley here. Better get ready. Uh, heading... Should I heading over to the left? And let's get the other part of it all. Yeah, it's around that river. What about it off? Car coming back. Now, when we get into Berkey, right, remember it's the same issue than before. It's uphill, downhill. Land uphill. Mm -hmm. Take off downhill. I see it now. I see it now. Yeah, it's a dirt strip. Let's start slowing up to get under the flop speed. I'm taking a right-hand orbit to lose some altitude and some speed. Let's fly this properly in my left hand. 100 knots now slowing down. 90 knots now, first stage of flaps coming down. Never lower the flaps in a turn. I did anyway. They're coming down. Second stage of flaps. And that's all the flaps I have. A very slippery airplane. There we go. Renewable drop is here with us again. There's in car and North Themes back with us. 87, North Theme 87. Welcome. Uh, now, I, I, I stopped here where I stopped, right? Just, we have to turn around anyway, but uh, let's see if we can land short at an eye. Okay. Do we have to turn around? Oh, yes, we will have to, yeah. Because of the uphill? Oh, yeah. Oh, we won't have a choice. We'll never make even... Oh, everyone's there. Look, it's, it's flooded. There's Falcon, DCS, Dr. Spike, fly, and a whole loadie in there. Shady Sim. Windage. I can't read the other snow, not a lot. I think so if you want to take off uphill here, you have to have like a 30 knot headwind. Yeah, and, and a really powerful engine. So, yeah, I was going to say nonsense, I was going to say. I'm taking off uphill. I could try it for all the viewers, for your entertainment if you like. Try and take off. Well, I'll try it uphill, will I? I'll try it uphill. I'll try. Well, remember, you have to, if you want to take uphill takeoff, you have to take off from where you stop. <laughs> I'm going to make it even more difficult. More difficult. Oh, I'm actually wondering if you stop, if you actually can make it up here. <laughs> Probably, possibly not. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. It's all for the fun of the viewers. Not, not, uh, not, 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 not Let's just keep a bit of few knots on there, so I don't make a fool out of myself once more. Coming in between those trees, 60 knots now. There, just uh, see you later, Lieutenant Brown. Have a good day at work. It's not under the room, maybe the nose up there. Off to get Oos! What is wrong with me today? Oof, what a touchdown. My whole body was shaking. <laughs> uh, I think your whole body was a bit more than shaking, mate. <laughs> I was too close to the stall and I knew what I was doing. I was pulling up. And I was, as I pulled uh, up, I was going to stall, and they just dropped. Yeah. Like that, see? Yeah, it's like you want to stall drops. at the rollout. Like, you know, it's like you don't want to stall before the rollout. I thought I'd try something new. For yeah, centuries, okay, pilots go. tried something new until they find out what's the right thing to do. Exactly. So I'm going to keep it at 70 knots this time. Like I'm trying cheap physics. Our flaps out, 70 knots, all the way in. There we go, 70 knots. This will be, be fine. What a slice of experiment. I can't help myself experiment in the flight simulator. There we go, now we got some stuff on there. There we go. There we go. There we 
go. Very interesting short field, though. It didn't. You, you, you touched down after the place. I actually came to a stop, mate. I know. <laughs> I was never going to stop. I was no. I wasn't. I wasn't going to happen to this. Uh, oh, turn around. Turn around. Uh, Come on, airplane. Turn around. Uh, that is fun. It is. Oh, it's quite steep uphill. I know. I never went up there. I'm not. I'm not uh, it won't even move. I couldn't even get it up to the top of the hill. You know. Um, uh, I'm. I'm. I'm struggling to get uphill here now. <laughs> and you got a more powerful aircraft. Yeah. Michael breaks on there. No, I missed everyone coming into land. Uh, there's the old push me pull you Cessna. Who's that? I don't know. Do I miss someone else coming in? I probably have. I have. Everyone's in. Oh, no, no, no. We got one coming in. We got one coming in. Have we? Here comes Skyhawk. Skyhawk's coming in. We get one in. We get one Mazix behind him. Skyhawk is flying the Z710. Oh, that's that thing. Is it that the... That's the stall. That's showing up. That's one of those... Is that that bloody... Uh, what you call it? I don't know. That's the fucking Call of Duty or Halo. Is that the Halo thing? The Halo thing. Yeah, I deleted it off my sim. I don't know what it is. But Mazik's in the Beechcraft, and here's Shady Sim coming in. So here comes Mazik. Let's see how Mazik does. Uh, and what's Oh no, he's in the Doctor Killer, is it? In the Bonanza. Yeah, but it's not showing up as a bonanza for me. It is the... Give me the tag again. The BE36. Oh, it's a bonanza. That? That's the bonanza. Okay, I don't know if it's a bonanza. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, it's a bonanza. Here he comes. Very nice. He had no problems whatsoever there. Uh, here comes Shady Sim. Oh, we've got someone new here. Uh, oh, AV Bush Flyers. I think I saw you before. But yeah, yeah AV Bush Flyers. And Private... CB Mike Lenson. Kelson. Mickelson. Mike Nicholson. Thank Mickelson. You. Nicholson. Private Nicholson. Welcome. Is there the twin? Didn't make it. So the trees must have collision detection. Ah. Because a lot of people are crashing into the trees. Whereas before you could, I don't know, you could make know. it to the trees. Here comes Shady Sim in the, in the caravan. But he went through the trees. Oh. 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 Bouncy. Thank you, Shady Sim. You've taken a lot of heat off me. Come on, Private. Hustle up. Here comes uh, Av Bush Flyers, the Kodiak. Maybe Bush Flyers coming in in the Kodiak. Oh, oh, oh. Into the trees. But he's plunked it in the runway. It's tricky, isn't it? It's tricky, folks. Yeah. It's not easy. You have to you have to aim down the runway, not at the front of the runway. Yeah, halfway down. And you use the end of the runway as your horizon. That's the way I see it. Yeah. So I don't feel so bad. One, That's my excuse. And one tour down the runway and uh, you're a happy camper. Yeah, don't try and land at the very beginning. Exactly. Because that happens to me all the time if I do that in the sim. Uh, Thanks, just crash, says Christopher Nicholson. That's okay, Christopher, you're all crashing. If you didn't crash the sim, you you know. So we, 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 we go to the next, which is very yeah. far away. We're going to go to the final, which is just next door. Just next so door, it's so no us. point to put the autopilot on. Nope. Okay. Let's zoom in here Shall so I can go? see it quickly. Uh, I'm going to get there before everyone else because I don't watch you all coming into land. Uh, okay, let's go. It's behind us. Okay, full power. Off we go. Crazy madness. Death, murder, kill, John Spartan. <clears throat> down the hill we go. New speeds alive. Flaps are at takeoff. 40 knots, 50 knots. Oh, God. Maybe not. Off easy. We go. Off easy. We go. Off we go. There we go. There we go. There's current click. I'll stay beside current click, shall I, folks? There he is. Let's see if I can catch him. He's gone faster than me, though. Installing again, great. I don't have as much power than as current click. But I'll try and beat him in the turn. Great. Uh, 
and we're off. And there's everyone taken off behind. Okay. Oh, current link is surging ahead. So this is the last landing. Our current link is this the last? Well, it's the last, and if we want to, we can do for bonus after that. Do you want to? We can. Okay. Well, the, and the last one then, folks. We'll, we'll I'll, I'll watch everyone else's landings a bit more. I think I'll do one, and you okay. know, I'm just circling overhead here. Where is it? Where is the airfield? Is it there? Is that little dirt strip, is it? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's scare the passengers. Losing altitude. So that's it there, I think. Oh no, it's not. Is No, that's not it. It looks like one, but it's not. Okay, let's come back up again. I went past it a bit there. Oh. Yeah, might add a bit of power here. This is the worst stream ever. <laughs> Do you know what I did there? I had my hand on the other power throttle. There it is. Uh, Do you see oh, it it's yet? like a wasp's Do nest here. Do you see it yet? I see it now, yeah. It's like a big fucking... It is. It's quite big. Okay, let's get the power off here. For the moment. There we go. Let's declutter. Oh, slow down. There we go. Lots are down. Looks like a bit of dirt. It, it is. is. Okay, let's do uh, a left hand orbit here. Just have to take your no. time. Exactly. Just straighten an overhead, like you know. Fly by overhead, left hand, and the right hand, and now I'm going to go on left hand and pick your point. And that's it. Simple. Yeah. Just take your time. Every time you rush it, it's all over. Every single time. You know, you flip it around, and that'll be fine. Nope. No. Negative all the crashes I've had today. 70 knots I'm going to stick with. Get rid of that 7 knots. There we go. 70 knots please. 70 knots. Come on, where's my 70? Get over the hills. Always trees before the down runway. Every single time. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Stall it on. Oh, excellent smash, landing, smash, sir. smash, smash. Did you crash again? No, I really smashed it into the into the runway there. 
Let's have a look like what that looked like. I may have got a prop strike. I'm not going to get up that hill, I don't think. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Let's see if I get up that hill. Come on. No. 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 Go on. No, I'm not moving up the hill. Not enough power. Wrong aircraft. Really? Reset cap. Come on. Let's see everyone else coming in. Uh, it's like I'm coming in now. Yeah, there's lots of people in the trees. <laughs> Before the runway. Here comes Skyhawk and current link behind Skyhawk. Skyhawk is in the Z701. What's that? Many, many freeware craft coming out from Microsoft Flight Sim. Well, I don't know what airplane that is actually, but he's kind of floating down as if he had a headwind there. Really nice. Kick us currently link of the Kodiak into the trees. Smashy smashes. Oh, you're you. I currently think. Come on. Really? But the trees. What tree? He went in the trees. But there was trees. You were in them. Oh, okay. Very then. nice, though. I was going over the trees. Here comes I, Joey Mac. I didn't see any and, trees. And push Lars. Oh, really? Oh. Which, maybe it's the same. Oh, everyone's going into the trees. Maybe it's it's just the uh, same. Oh, 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 oh. Smashy and smashy smash smash. So I'm not the only one doing smash to smash smash today, but that's no excuse. Here comes in car. Yeah, oh, he's gone in between the trees. Oh, no, he hasn't. There's in car. Very nice. Very nice. And the PC6 Tango. Here comes Lord Them, 87. In the Kodiak. Oos. Puts it down nice and hard. Very nice, he made it. And a run wild welcome. Run wild's coming in the Kodiak. Good choice. I made a foolish choice. Uh, then behind him, Captain Hook and CJM845. Okay, run wild. Well, I think the trees aren't there for everybody else, I'd say. Don't know. Uh, very nice, okay. Okay, here he comes. Very nice. A bit of a bounce, but that's to be expected. Don't worry about that. That looks really cool. Well done. Another one. Here is Kit Fox. Uh, CJM in the Kit Fox. Everyone's right. following that road. So, here's the question. Hook and show you soon. Yep. Here's the question. Are we going to do the bonus airfield? Yes, we'll do the bonus airfield. Okay. So, so what's the... Okay, I'm going to type it in. The bonus, the bonus airfield is yeah. Um, w X Ray, that's uh, so a whiskey X Ray. Whiskey X Ray. Sorry, whiskey X Ray. Yeah, five three. Whiskey X Ray fifty three. Oh. Okay, everybody meet at whiskey X Ray fifty three in the sim. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to type. I put it in the. Let me put it in the chat here. Uh, next, next. Airfield. Uh, if I could spell that right. Copy and paste. Copy. Boom. That's it gone into. I just thought I'd type it into the chat there, folks. Okay. And there it goes into. Into Twitch. So. Uh, next airfield. I think Colonel Clink has something in store. I'm going to go back to the main menu. And I'm going to make one good landing and pay attention and not mess about this time. Uh, so I can sleep tonight. And then I'm going to watch you guys coming in. And Colonel Clink, of course. So the next airfield is uh, select departure, which is Whiskey X Ray 53. We'll see you all there. Whiskey, X-ray, fifty-three. Uh, baga, da, ba, ba, bag, bag, something. So that's the one. There we go. Oh, it's right close to us. Yeah. Okay. It's not too far. Button. Not too far at all. Not too far at all. 
Come on, load up, please. Loady, loady, load. We're two hours in now. So this is going to be, what airplane will I choose? I'll just stick with the same one. I'll stick with the DA-40. Uh, okay, that's it, ready to fly. Let's get some daylight here. Let's choose real world weather. It's live weather. Let's get the time. Oh, real time, you said current click works now. Yeah, okay, real time weather. Real yeah. time, time. Oh, what is this now? Let's hop, let's hop outside and have a look. Oh, yes, that's what you call it. That's, uh, that's the real cool one, yes. We did this years ago. There goes Skyhook. Now, there's a bananas airfield. So this one, there's a name for this. I can't remember the, I, I can't pronounce it, to be honest with you. So your approach is, let me show you now, I'll come out a little bit. You don't want to fall down here. This is a Papua New Guinea airfield for sure. So you come in over this. Oh, that damn. Oh, he's a tree. Right. You see this tree? Damn you, tree. Uh, over the tree. And you're going to land maybe a third or even halfway up the runway. Aim for halfway up the runway because that hill's going to stop you. Now, I don't think they'd take off going down that hill, would they, Colonel Clink? I don't know. It's a steep hill, you know? That is steep. So. Yeah, that's a tricky one. Does everyone know where we are? Anyone lost in the chat there? Please fly into Whiskey Tango Charlie. Let's lap chan. Whiskey Tango Charlie, what's that? Maybe next week. Let me take a note for that and we'll have a look at that maybe for next week. Where's me pen? Pen, pen, pen. Pot it without a pen, it's no good. So, uh, Dash Leper Sean, I know I butchered your name there. Whiskey Tango Charlie. We we'll talk about that after the stream, and we we'll look into that, folks. So yeah, this is an interesting one, and I remember we did this eight years ago. So I'll kick it off. Everyone's flying to it. Okay, that probably makes more sense. I'm loading the sim again. Park break off. Let's get some power going. Mark wake isn't off. Right. No, okay, here we go. Are we right, ready so to go there? I'm going, I'm going. I'm there already. Now, oh. this is, I remember this. You don't want to be going down full power over this bit. Uh, oops. And get over the tree. 50, 60 knots towards the end of the runway. And off we go. Flaps are now up. And we're good. There's windage up there. DCS ducks. Uh, DCS ducks. Uh, there will be lessons this Tuesday. <laughs> I didn't get any chance to practice. I'm doing DCS work, folks, if you're just joined us. And I'm just practicing at the minute, and I just don't get the time. Uh, and DCS ducks is very politely teaching me some stuff about DCS world. So here we go. There's the runway down there. 84 knots, that's fine. Take a bit of power back. Uh, flaps stage one. I'm rushing this again. Flaps stage two. Let's drive it in. Declutter. Let's see how I can do here. Let's get the recorder on. Come on, recorder. Start recording. Record. Yes. That messed up my approach. No end, because I was looking away. 70 knots. I'm going to aim halfway down the runway. Fly with my left hand and get on the center line, will you? There we go. There we go. 77 knots is too much. Oh, wow. Up, 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 up the hill, up we go, up we go to the hill, and there we go. That's probably the best one I've ever done in this airfield. That is the best air landing I've ever done in that airfield, and it was a fluke. 
There we go. I'm going to run up the hill. I'm going to show you the recording. I'm going to park away from everybody else. I'm going to watch everybody else coming in. Right. Let's swing around here. Come on, swing around. No, I won't do it. Okay, we'll just stop here then. Now, brilliant. Happy days. Uh, I take that. Where I can break on. Uh, stop recording. Uh, replay. Let's pause the replay. Okay, so that'll do. Okay. No, nope. that won't do. Yeah, because I was quite late in the replay, wasn't I? Let's get the view correct. The view correct. Reset cam. Uh, this is the moment. The big moment. The best landing I've done in this airfield, and I, I'm glad this is my last landing. I can sleep tonight. <laughs> I, I won't be having nightmares about me not being able to fly anymore. <laughs> you imagine. Here we come. Last minute decisions were made. And here we go. I kind of hold her off. There we go. Firm landing. Had loads of speed, but I knew the hill was there. And up we went. Maybe got a bit of a tail strike there. And there we go. Let's watch it from the side then. So if, if, if everybody is there already, I better don't or stuff it up better. then, no? I'm going to do one more replay because, you know, the best way to look at this sometimes is as follows. Uh, get follow me mode off. Uh, I'm going to put... This is how I used to make, or I make the videos. And follow mode on. So you put follow mode on. You move it to where you want to stand. The actual time and space. So I'll put it there. Right, I position my camera. Here. I'll zoom in a bit. Right, hang on. Okay, hang so on. I'm on yeah. final now. Mm, there. Right, so get my picture there, right? Then I'll switch off follow me mode. And I think it's drone lock mode. Let's see if that works. Yes, it does. So I'll get rid of him there. So we're short final. Oh, there's you. There's you coming in, is it? I'm coming in now, yeah. Into the tree. No, no, no. I'm, I'm still a wee bit out. There's oh, oh, don't land at the beginning of the runway. There's somebody bouncing at the beginning of the runway for some reason. Yeah, we'll stay here and we'll watch everyone for a minute before I do my replay. Okay. Uh, so, and here we go. Let's see. Something's telling me not to sink. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Let's just check that. Oh, here comes Scott and Clank. Ah! Ah, I messed up the view! Oh! <laughs> okay, let's watch my replay here. Oh, there's another one. There's a DA-40 coming in, very nice. Oh, that was me. <laughs> God. Okay, let's watch everybody else to help me. Stop replay. And let's reset the camp. Now we're on to everybody else. Uh, you can crash there, good person. Let's get rid of the follow me mode. Camera. Boom. Now, let's watch everyone else here. Okay, more power on the camera. Now, we're all about you, folks. Take off again, give it another lash. We've got uh, Joey Mac 63 coming in in the DA40. It looks like him first, I think. Everybody give it a try. I think this is one of, one of our first streams, wasn't it, Colonel Clink? Uh, yeah, we did some... Um, <clears throat> Run Wild is coming in now. Yeah, some crazy landings here. Uh, mainly in stolen aircraft, funny enough. Yeah. Run wild, that was very nice. You don't have to jam on the brakes because the hill will stop you. <laughs> oh, oh, big, 
way up he went again and now be careful when oops. you go over the hill because you will be like like on a carrier <coughs> yep here comes flying mitch and kodiak as well very nice flying mitch very nice up the hill and stop stop you stop you stop stop who am i missing who's coming in next here comes a renewal drop renewable drop great Mazik's coming in now um, the BE-36. Very nice. Pyrotech is coming in. Shady Sh Shim is coming in for another one. If I zoom in here. Very nice. Can I zoom in with this? No. Here comes Pyrotech coming in. It doesn't say what airplane they're flying, though. Oose. We got it down. Very nice. He's gonna, here comes DCS Ducks giving a go. Private is coming in, private and Shady Sims coming in, and it's 208. Oh, and the twin as well. Very nice. Very nice. We also have in car coming in the, in the six tango. Very nice. I have to download that damn tango again. No, not a lot in the Kodiak. Oh, very, very nice. Right at the beginning of the runway. Giving himself loads of room to stop. Uh, doesn't even really need the hill. Oh, he does need the hill a little bit. Excellent copper hat. Looks like he's taken off on uh, the otter. Will he make it off the ground? Yep. Oh, who's this? Into the trees. Fire attack. Barely made it off. Jerry Mac Designs coming in run with Run Wild and Captain Hook off the distance. Captain Hook is clever because he's gone wide and giving himself loads of time. Here comes Run Wild. A little bit low. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, very nice, Run Wild. Oh, bouncy, bounce, like bounce. If you land there, aim like one third into the runway. Let's get rid of my face. We need more real estate for eye candy. Sorry, Colonel Clink. Yeah, like one third down the runway, isn't it? Um, yeah. A monitor down the runway and happy days. Yeah. If you aim too early, you're not gonna make it. Now let's get my right. Just for a moment, my face. Uh, boom. And the throttle fan. Boom. Now we've got some eye candy, folks. Joey back to sign the DA40. Look at that. Very nice. And he goes up the hill then. Stopped it perfectly. That was very nice. And from here you can see that hill. You know, if we're standing up here. Here comes Captain Hook. Peak New Zealand's coming in. The Kodiak. Copper Hat's coming in now. Paratech, Nighthawk, Run Wild and CJM's coming in. Oh. Bit of a... Very nice... Beats New Zealand. Tappy D, uh, we'll see you again. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap up now soon. Nighthawk. So it's one of those my favourite airfields. I can't remember. I can't pronounce the name. Thank you, Tappy D. Um, see you next week. And. Oh, poor adventure bush flyers had an engine failure earlier on. Good stuff. Uh, oh, hang on a second here. I've missed a whole lot of stuff here. <laughs> uh, I have missed and uh, no sounds whatsoever. So, uh, a few seconds ago, oh, we didn't miss it. Thank God, because I didn't hear him bing bang. Lonely Reaper has gifted uh, a sub tier one to Goofy. And Lonely Reaper has gifted a sub tier one to Doobie. And uh, he's also gifted a sub tier one to DCS Ducks. Yeah. Uh, Lonely Reaper, thank you very much. Uh, I don't know why that the sounds aren't coming up. Because it usually goes bing bing for me. Uh, that's the alert box. Why won't that come up? I'll have to check that out. Thank you very much there, Lonely Reaper. I appreciate that. Um, uh, so, yeah, happy days, folks. So, to you people who have just joined us and you're new, 
thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank you very much. Let me get my camera back here again. My face camera. So that that's uh, one of the best airfields there. That's one of the really interesting ones. Yes. We do that again. Get some practice, you know. Uh, no, it's a, this is a fantastic uh, airfield. We might do some sort of a special Monday with, with this, you know. Yeah. Uh, we'll definitely do it again. Uh, and Colonel Clink, thank you very much for the brilliant flight plan and all the ideas. Um, and, and very generous of you, Lonely Reaper. Thank you very much for that. I'm tired now. After that, are you, Colonel Clink? Yeah, no, it's uh, getting tired now, yeah. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock here. So uh, wherever you are, I hope you have a good week for the remainder of the week. I would throw you some Irish good luck, if that means anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh, and you know what, folks? Thank you very much for joining us once again. I'm delighted to see some new people here. Uh, I just kn I know I'm going to leave someone out. A private, uh, private Mike. Mike Leeson, is it? CPM Mike Leeson? Um, Mike Leeson. Mick, Mick, Mick Leeson. Mick. Private, yeah. Uh, who else? I spotted someone else there who was new. Uh, anyway, uh, I mentioned it before. So, folks, I must sleep. I'm absolutely exhausted today. Thank you very much for joining us on the stream once again. And Colonel Clink, thank you. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this, and we we'll see you next week. And we will see you ne next week. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't find the outro button as usual. Uh, Where's the producer buttons when you're near? You know, really. Anyway, folks, see you next week. Have a great time, and we'll see you next Sunday at 2100 hours on the North European server. Bye.